Okay, so let's consider the signal x of t. It's a real valued signal, and we know that it is uniquely determined by its samples whenever we are sampling at a rate omega s greater than or equal to 5,000 pi. So omega s here is the sampling rate. The question that we're going to ask ourselves is for what values of omega is x of omega, the Fourier transform of the signal x of t, equal to zero? So this basically boils down to knowing the sampling theorem. The sampling theorem tells us that a signal is uniquely determined by its samples if we are sampling at a rate greater than or equal to two times the maximum frequency of the signal. If we rearrange this inequality, we can rewrite that as omega max has to be less than or equal to omega s over 2. In this case, we were told that our sampling frequency was 5,000 pi, so 5,000 pi over 2 is 2,500 pi radians per second. So right now we have an upper bound. We've just shown that omega max is less than or equal to 2,500 pi. So 2,500 pi is the largest possible frequency that the signal x of t can contain. So x of omega has to be zero for the absolute value of omega greater than or equal to 2500 pi.